A pleasure to meet all at last, and welcome back to Hot Wheels Hilarity Colossal Clashes. And so for today's partition of this entire side series that I have going on here, this Colossal Clash that I have going on here includes a little pill-shaped layout, complete with a t custom turn kicker that's turned 180 degrees, to show that, well, these cars have made it all the way to the end. And wow, just like every other Colossal Clash episode I've had so far, there are in fact going to be really big selections of certain models out there. Many of which are just random draws, so you might expect some to win and some to not win, but there's only one way to find out here. Our first car on the track is Battle Spec. HW Rapid Responder Bugatti Veyron twenty fifteen Challenger SRT Pile Driver nineteen sixty seven Chevelle twenty sixteen Mercedes GT three clear speeder atomics Dragon Tail The Wiener Mobile Pontiac Rages nineteen eighty three Silverado Nitrium Cadillac LMP Wild Thing Power Sander Land Crusher Formulator Land Rover Double Cab Bulletproof Ford 427 Fairlane Nissan Skyline R33 Go-kart Aston Martin GT3 Silhouette 2 1964 Impala nineteen forty Ford Coupe Monoposto Alpha Romeo eight C Split Decision Maximum Leeway Turbo Rooster Nineteen 
the Ford Falcon Racer. Time Tracker. Tarmac Attack. McLaren Racer. Semi Psycho. Speedbox. Fangula. Troy Soldier. Halo's Warthog. RD01. Seventy two Ford Ranchero. Velocita. Custom nineteen seventy seven Dodge. Twenty nineteen Silverado. And lastly, here is the Range Rover Villar. Well, this is a pretty good number that's gone down there. I count 21 models that have gone all the way through. That's 6, 12, 18, and another 3, so that's 21 in total. So I got 3 here next to the custom turn kicker that would have also made it as well if the turn kicker didn't flip them over. Here's another 3 models that also didn't do so well on the track. They couldn't even get past the first curve. And everybody else is pretty much in between. The 66 Ford, Ford 27 Fairlane, Pontiac Rages, the Land Rover Double Cab, and even the Mercedes GT3, they all couldn't do so well here on this layout. But one thing's for sure though, there are still some more Colossal Clashes coming your way soon.